this time next week, the community of Westerville, north of Columbus, will be getting back to normal after the flood of national attention from the fourth Democratic presidential debate. Twelve candidates are set to be on stage at the Reich Center at Otterbein University on Tuesday to argue their cases for the party's nomination for president next year. State House correspondent Andy Chow is an alum of Otterbein, like I am, and he went back to school to find out why this small college in this quiet, peaceful village is the background for this debate. Otterbein University has about 3,000 enrolled students, and its population could almost double as thousands pour in for the national presidential debate. Several locations around the country were vying to host the event, but University President John Comerford says Otterbein was able to pull ahead for a number of reasons. We think they were impressed with our facilities and our campus and our staff's ability to get things done. Comerford adds that Otterbein has a history of playing a role in national discourse, such as becoming the first higher education establishment to be founded as a co-ed college, putting men and women in the same classroom and with its first graduates being women. He adds that being a smaller school has its advantages. So our pitch was really about our ability to be a good partner that we knew that our local community partners and the faculty and staff and students we have here on campus could respond and be flexible and be nimble in a way that we know we're very good at. And we knew an event like this was going to take a lot of that to pull off. At least one other network had scouted an Ohio location for this debate, but CNN and Otterbein were chosen by the Democratic National Committee, which saw value in bringing the debates to Westerville. Ohio Democratic Party Chair David Pepper says voters in Westerville and other large suburbs on the outskirts of the state's bigger cities are trending in the Democrats' favor. Pepper says these are areas that have historically been Republican strongholds. These places are turning blue. They're turning blue, blue very quickly, uh, driven largely by women. And so, you know, this, this debate isn't a place that symbolically is that's happening as much as anywhere. Last year, Democrats flipped six Republican-held seats in the Ohio House and one in the Senate, but they also lost a Senate seat. Some had suggested the debate be held in Dayton or Youngstown, areas that flipped to support President Trump in 2016, but are showing signs of going back to blue. But Pepper says suburbs like Westerville are critical. He notes Westerville is in Ohio's 12th congressional district where last year Democrat Danny O'Connor lost to Republican Troy Balderson by about four points. In this decade, Democrats had been losing that district by about 40 points. Pepper argues that this swing is the result of voters who are losing interest in supporting the Republican platform. If Ohio is going to turn blue, and we believe it can, a lot of that will be because suburbs that used to be the, the base of the Republican Party before Trump came along are now so turned off by Donald Trump and often by the annex at the state house on issues like guns and reproductive rights that these suburbs that were perfectly happy voting for Republicans not long ago are now voting for Democrats. But Ohio Republican Party spokesperson Evan Mackin believes bringing the Democratic presidential debate to Westerville will hurt the Dems. He says, quote, the Democrats and their traveling circus show keep moving further to the left. This won't play well in Ohio. But Pepper says the voters are following the national and statewide message coming from Democrats and that suburban community members are drawn towards candidates who talk about health care, the economy, and jobs. As for Otterbein President John Comerford, he's grateful for the opportunity the university has to showcase what it has to offer. But he says it will also be an experience for all students and staff to get involved no matter what their party affiliation is. And it's also, I think, an alignment of values that we are very excited about being a place where, where we get to have democracy in action. And there's a commitment to really, we're not just doing this for PR or because the space is getting rented or whatever else, we're doing this because this is part of our mission. Comerford says most classes are integrating their courses to align with the debate in some way. Journalism students will get to cover the event, Political science students will have an opportunity to meet professionals, and even theater students will act as stand-ins for the candidates on the stage to help CNN prepare for the broadcast. Andy Chow, State House News Bureau.